We were looking at climate adaptation for outdoor recreation across the western U.S. What went into it was essentially uh, pulling together a lot of information from the literature on climate adaptation for outdoor recreation. Understanding what vulnerabilities are for outdoor recreation to climate change in the western part of the U.S. And then also we kind of co-produced adaptation strategies on the local scale with recreation practitioners to understand, you know, what our options are for how we can adapt uh, recreation within these local parks and local protected areas um, to climate change. And from those workshops, uh, some different adaptation strategies came up over and over again or you know new adaptation strategies that are very site specific. I think if you could kind of boil it down to three or four main topics of what we're looking at is increased flexibility in management of these areas and you know how we're managing outdoor recreation and public lands in general, increased partnerships and collaborations across the landscapes and the other element is longer term kind of time frames for planning. I think right now a lot of practitioners are orienting their planning towards kind of the 10 to 20 year time frame. Climate change, you know, is, is certainly already happening, is going to be happening in the next 10 to 20 years. But if we want to be able to, on our limited budgets, and sustainably effectively provide recreation opportunities into the future, having a, a longer term framework for planning is going to be important.